My name is Rebecca Bay, and I'm the creative director for Marty Mekko. My name is uh, Trine Søndergaard. I'm a Danish visual artist and photographer. I think what I see in Trine's work, which is also something that's very evident at Marimekko, is this sort of speaking to women of all ages, or women of different generations. I think at Marimekko, we really pride ourselves of this idea of, of being a, a brand where, where dresses are passed down from one generation to the next. So there's really this connection. And I think this is, uh, this is also what I see, of course, in the, I think in the subjects of the, of the Strode series as well. The Strode project is a series of images made on the Danish island of Fanø. And I visited the island and I uh, got familiar with the, the traditional dress on the island. And I was really struck by this uh, thing called the Strode, which is a covering of the face. Trine was concerned with some of the same things that I'm concerned with. I think working with Trine has been such a pleasure. I think first and foremost, it's amazing when someone's just jumping at a collaboration. I think that Trine is, is extremely open to the dialogue, to the collaboration, and our style of working, or maybe in particular my style of working, is really to create as much freedom as possible. And I think that Trine uh, has really sort of proposed ideas versus just running with the brief. And I think it's become an amazing dialogue where it feels like Trine was the original inspiration and then the Marimeko textiles became Trine's inspiration that has then now inspired us back in how to present the collection. I think Marimeko is, is a brand that uh, I really can relate to and I know it for the, the textiles and the beautiful patterns and somehow feel very close to it and I even have a vintage Marimeko dress uh, that I wore for an opening and uh, I also sense that it, it is a collaboration where I have the freedom to do what I am interested in, so it is just really a perfect match. At Marimeko, everything starts with prints. You know, it's always the it's always the print or the pattern first, and then the materials and the shapes and the silhouettes follow that. We have a vast archive with more than 3,500 prints, so there's a lot to pick from. I very uh, quickly had the idea that it would be really interesting to work with the full fabrics. And luckily it was possible to get these full lengths of, uh, of material, so I had the freedom to use, that, use it as both something that could be worn, but also something that could be used as backdrop. I think what we have managed to do with this collaboration is to create work around the theme of new folk, new tradition. We've been looking back to look forward and from something old we have created something entirely new.